For Honor just recently released a new Aztec character. After years of hoping and begging from the community, the wait is finally over. Seven years later, we finally have an Aztec hero. All you will hear is your own scream. Now everyone was very excited when they first found out about the hero, but I was a bit skeptical to see how For Honor was going to represent the Aztecs. So I'm going to be rating what I like and don't like and seeing how accurate this character is. Did he just kill the cameraman? LOL. This is a foreshadow of Ubisoft telling us that the character is already gonna be OP. Also, that's minus one point for Ubisoft. This is already inaccurate because everyone knows that the cameraman never dies. Alright, first look at the Ocelolo. What's he trying to do? Sneak up on us? Huh? Wow, this is really cool. From the colors, weapons, outfit, and everything. It really does capture that jaguar and animalistic vibes. This must be what furries think they look like. Now I'm gonna be laying out some fun facts throughout the video, and the first fun fact I wanna talk about is the outfit. The Aztecs had many outfits with different colors that could indicate their role and status. So they had different looks depending on their ranks in the society meaning the clothing that they wore resembled the type of warrior they were. And so I thought I would do the same and apply this concept into my gameplay. So the goal is to level up as much as I can so I can gather many gear sets that will resemble the many different Aztec warriors. And currently, I am the Jaguar Warrior, which is what Ocelado stands for, which is also why I'm wearing a fursuit. They wore this because the Jaguar was a powerful and feared creature and they believed that they could absorb the power of the Jaguar and gain its strength. Which meant that you got to channel that inner dog in you. Hey! Oh, what? That was so brutal. He cut his head off like a handsaw. Now this character is unlike anything we've ever seen from the game. Everyone has seen the axe, swords, shields, and the staff. But now, we finally get the iconic Aztec weapon known as the Makwit, which stands for Handwood. It is a wooden club with obsidian blades embedded on the side. This weapon is sharper than surgical steels, and it is said that it could even decapitate a horse's head with one strike. It can even cut a Nokia phone in half. And everyone knows that Nokia phones are indestructible. Oh my god. It's almost like a cricket bat, but with sharp edges around it. So I'm basically a barbarian cricket player, who's also a furry. He even has the obsidian shards on the spear, which was usually meant for throwing. Huh? Did he just throw the club into the opponent instead of the spear, which was meant for throwing? Math isn't mathing right now. Ubisoft really threw on that one. Uh oh. Where the heck did he get that from? Oh, did he just do a 360 no scope? We got a FaZe Clan member over here. The Aztecs did use darts, and as a certified Aztec, I can confirm that they did indeed do 360 no scopes. Oh, look at this! We get to hear the iconic death whistle. I wonder what it sounds like. So for those who don't play this game, I'm gonna quickly go over the movesets. So apparently, he uses the spear for the light attacks, heavy attacks from his club, and he uses both the spear and the club whenever you do a zone attack. He also has a bonk attack where he smacks you right in the noggin. And the most intriguing moveset of all, the Hunter Stance. And it is absolutely useless where he does a mediocre jumping attack 
that's pretty much impossible to land in game. Now the thing I don't understand about this character is that it doesn't have a bleed effect. Like this weapon is perfect for the character to apply some bleed damage. But they didn't even do it. Can we appreciate how much effort Ubisoft put into the hunter stance? Okay, first match with the Ocelolo. Let's see what this character really has to offer. He has a lot of options in his movesets, so I wonder how complicated my playstyle would be like with this character. Boom! Bam! Ow! <laughs> I like how this character's movesets are so complex, but yet all I do is resort to light spamming. <laughs> top light and top light top heavy yeah it worked i programmed her i tricked her into pairing the light attack and then throwing a heavy the last moment i'm a genius zone attack what zone Yes! Doing a zone attack as a wake up is so perfect for this character. Gotcha, bitch. Oh. Another one. Let's see if we can get another one. Nope. Aw, oh, it didn't work that time. This can probably be late. This can probably be late. This can probably be late. Okay, I'm gonna parry that at some point. Yes! Finally! I'm joking! Stop! 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 <laughs> you know, if our goal is to level up and unlock the gear, we might as well go to 4v4 since it's faster that way. Okay boys, I've played a few matches in Dominion off camera just to get a feel of the character, and apparently, he has an ability where he can hook the opponent towards you with a spear. So I wanna try to make it a bit more interesting by trying to get a kill with the spear by ledging the enemy with it and hopefully we can get a lot of clips from it. Okay, I almost have my spear unlocked. I just need to level up a bit more, which is why we're just gonna play the minion wave. Hello. <laughs> my range is so wide that I'm even hitting my own teammate. I like how he jumped down to help only to get smacked around. Look how close we are to getting the spear. I legit only need one more renown to get it. I'm just gonna capture this zone to level up. Alright, I got the spear, but now we need to set up for a kill. There's a ledge just outside this zone, and I wanna see if I can lure someone to come to the ledge. Yup, come here, follow me. Oh, he's not following. Come on, I just need one of them to step outside. Okay, this is our chance, we can grab them from here. Wait, no, I didn't mean to use it on him. It was a miss input. Miss input, calm down! You calm down! Oh, if I would have pulled this guy instead, it could have worked. Oh, Glob, our team is breaking. Time is running out and the team is falling apart. My team needs to stay alive and keep the enemy busy while I run to safety and wait until my spear finishes its cooldown. Did you pray today? Oh, no, not that way. Turn around! Get up the ladder, you donut! Okay, screw that, I'm out. Save me, teammate. You go fight them while I run away like a coward. Oh, guys, should I stay here and help? I don't want to risk dying. Get back here. Yeah, nope, I'm out. You can clutch the 2v1, teammate. I've seen Faram do it many times. Okay, screw that guy anyways. He killed me on purpose in the beginning of the match. Wow. Really, teammate? Guys, I don't know which way to go, but we almost have the spear again. I just need to survive long enough until the cooldown is over. Okay, there you go. We have it. Now we just need to find the ledge and the victim. Yes, come on. Huh? But what the hell, but <laughs> stupid.
Wait, no. Jump. What are you doing? <laughs> what? Wait, what? What was that? Why did that even happen? Bro, I swear to you, I did not mean to go into the hunter stance. I accidentally went into the hunter stance just as I was about to pounce on him. I went to go freaking jump on the guy, but then my character just decided to go do some squats for some reason. Like what? Imagine if I got that on the first round. That would have been so good if I got it on the first match. That was so unfortunate, like wow. Okay, I'm pretty sure I only need to kill this guy in order to level up and unlock my spear. Yes, I got it! No, I'm gonna bleed out! Run! I gotta be careful here because they're in a fight and I need to make sure my spear animation doesn't get interrupted. And now! Wait a minute! No, stop! What are you doing? What are you doing? What? Oh. No, my teammate freaking cock blocked my shot. He was like a bodyguard jumping in front of the president from getting shot. Oh, feels bad, man. Guys, please don't kill the last person. I can use my ability again. Hey, hey, hey! No way! My ass was right on the edge, but my character steps forward every time I use my spear. Ah, <sighs> next. This is exactly what I've been waiting for. <laughs> no shot, he pops revenge at that moment. Oh, fuck. Okay, there you go. You got it. Yes, yes, come on! Oh, are you serious right now, bro? Screw that wall. Okay, there's a guy right here. We can use the spear now. Wow, we did it both at the same time? How come it didn't work for me? Two spears, one ocelotl. Bro, these walls keep on cock blocking me. Mate, if that happens one more time, I'm gonna break my monitor, I swear. Oh my god. Every single time. Oh shoot. Yes, we're still in it. There's a ledge right here. No, I'm trapped. Get out of the way. Hehe, <laughs> they will never find me here. It appears that I am now the last one and the rest of the team went down. But if I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna bring one of you down with me. There's a ledge right behind me and whoever finds me will get yoinked by the spear and thrown off. <laughs> they never suspected a thing. I have mastered the ability of standing incredibly still, that I have become invisible to the eye. Uh -oh. oh, get ready! One of them is running in. Now! No way! How did he get me so quickly? He was like one mile away from me. Mate, that lunch is crazy! I swear, he was much further away than it seemed. I can't believe that just happened. That lunch needs to get nerfed. The weebs need to get nerfed. So to give you guys an update, I don't know if you've noticed, but my drip has changed. I have unlocked different gears now and have leveled up from the Jaguar warrior to a serpent warrior. They call me Taylor Swift because I'm a snake. Now this outfit is based off of Quetzalcoatl, who was a feathered serpent and the god of wind. Serpents would usually symbolize renewal and transformation. And since this outfit resembles the characteristics of a snake, my character would be considered a follower of the feathered serpent god. This is also because I literally have a carved out piece of Quetzalcoatl on my back. 
it does look kind of a bit weird, but I guess that's because it's like a front view of its face. But it's definitely Quetzalcoatl if you look at it from the side. And if you compare it with the picture, you can see its resemblance and the level of detail Ubisoft put into this. And yeah, so far, we're making good progress in showing our goal to showcase the different looks of the Aztec warriors. But we still have yet to finish our other goal of getting a spear kill. So I came up with a genius idea. Apparently, he has another feat that I recently unlocked where he could use a bear trap. With my galaxy brain, I figured that I could get a spear kill way easier by setting up the trap where they won't be able to move for 2 seconds and that'll buy me enough time to hook them properly and secure a guaranteed kill. Let's go! <laughs> oh my god, that guy got annihilated. He was getting passed around. He had no chance whatsoever. <laughs> Why did it look like I was about to step into a boss fight? So I went in there and I said... Wow, that was the easiest boss fight I've ever faced. Okay, so now that we have our trap and the spear, we must now execute the plan. Oh my god. And now we wait. One of them might come over here after they're done fighting. Okay, good. One of them is coming. Everyone act natural. Coming out here to pick up a cupcake. Let's see if he notices the trap. Yes, it worked. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Yes, we pushed him. No, we fell down with him. No, why? That was so good. Okay, you know what? That's fine. It doesn't matter. I got the clip. Finally, after so many attempts. I don't even know how many times we failed now. But I finally got the spear kill. His teammate almost prevented that. That was so close. It sucks how I got thrown off, but you, you know, I, I'm not even mad. I'm just now happy that the plan worked out. That was the first try with the trap as well. I thought people could have just easily avoided it, but it worked out pretty well. I might have to try this a bit more often. Alright, trap number two. Let's see if it'll work again. We got a narrow entrance where they're guaranteed to trigger the trap, and the ledge right in the middle. 12 seconds later. Wait, did someone just step on the trap? Hello there. Oh yeah, there was. Well in that case. Yoink. No weeds allowed. Oh wait, we can throw him off here. My teammate dragged him in the perfect spot. Hey, let's go. My teammate set us up. Bro is punching the air right now. What the dog do? Ooh, I thought he was about to throw me off. Come on guys, bring him over here. It's a quick and easy kill. Just bring him close to the ledge. Okay, screw this, this ain't working. I'm going down to help my teammate over there and see if I can ledge that person. Oh, you already killed him. I didn't even get a chance to do anything. Oh, look at that double parry. Oh, and the dodge. I am the best player alive. I am popping off in this match. Uh, hey boss, can, can, can you bring the enemy over here? Bro, I can't even hook the enemy. My teammates cock blocking the way. Oh my god. Oh, someone's coming here. Think fast, Chuckle Nuts. <laughs> you will be sacrificed to the gods. Excuse me? How did you not fall off? Oh, you know what it is? It's because my character steps forward every time. I keep on forgetting about that. 
Alright, I was not expecting this, but there's still a possible chance for me to get another kill since the cooldown is almost finished. I need to make sure I don't get interrupted, or else it won't work. Oh crap, everyone's here now. We gotta be careful and time it perfectly. Hi, how are you? Oh hi, it's you again. Seems like it's meant to be. <laughs> this is your cannon event. You cannot escape your destiny. It was your cannon event to be thrown off by me. <laughs> Check it out, boys. I have acquired new drip. This was all I was able to achieve with the Rep 2 gear, but it was enough to unlock the full gear set of the Eagle Warrior. Now the Eagle Warriors were considered one of the high ranks among the Aztec military. And in order to become one, you had to capture many prisoners in order to be later on, be sacrificed to the gods. Eagle Warriors were also considered to be soldiers of the sun. And just like the Jaguar Warrior, they believed that they could adapt the powers and skills of the eagle. And eagles were considered to be fierce, brave, and fearless. And there you go! We did it! We have successfully attained the different looks of the Aztec Warriors. Now there are many more outfits, but since I'm only Rep 2, this is the only thing I got for now. And if you take a look at the photos, it shows you how well Ubisoft captured the different looks of the Warriors. Tell me which warrior you guys like the best. I went from a furry, yellow, ocelotl, to a green, scaly, snack, to a blue, feathery, black guy, who is also an eagle. I'm like a Pokemon slowly evolving, but instead of staying as the same creature, I switch into different pronouns like I'm a Pokemon in the modern world. I apparently also hit you guys with that reverse Michael Jackson. And there is actually one more fun fact I want to tell you guys about. But before I do that, I just want to thank all of you for supporting me. The channel only has two videos and we're already at 10k subs, which is wild considering that I just started my YouTube journey. And I would also like to apologize for being gone for so long. I didn't mean to make you guys feel like I left to go get some milk. And I know in my last video that I said I had more videos coming and, and I do. I had many plans and ideas, but things got in the way, but I should be good for now. And I truly appreciate all of you for still checking up on the channel. And the last fun fact is... Every 60 seconds in Africa, a minute passes. Thank you all for coming to my TED talk.